TV. Yeah, um, I sing big band, mostly music. Um, Frank Sinatra, Bobby Darin, Matt Monroe, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, with a little bit of country thrown in, mostly classic country. Uh, maybe a little bit of oldies, maybe a little bit of blues, some jazz, but mostly, primarily, it's a big band. Great. As long as I'm singing, then the world's all right. And as we swing it, as long as I'm singing my song. And if this band don't desert me, then there's nothing in the world can hurt me. As long as I'm singing my song. Give me trumpets and a god. Throw some stances with them. Spring spiccato. Give them rhythm. As long as I'm singing, then the world's all right. And as we swing it, as long as I'm singing my song. Yeah! I love, um, you know, go joke about country, country music. Now, what happens if you play a country song backwards, get your car back, your dog back, and your woman comes back to you? <laughs> yeah, right. So, you know, it all tends to revolve around. Love. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, that's, that's a pretty that's... important theme, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you originally from Chicago? Suburbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I grew up in Woodridge, mm -hmm. um, but uh, the first chance I had to get out of the suburbs, I did, and I went to Las Vegas. Um, but after my uh, early... If they made me a king I'd be but a slave to you If I had everything I'd still be a slave to you Early college career out there and I uh, came back to Chicago and uh, have lived outside of a couple um, hiatuses. Uh, I've lived in Chicago for quite some time now. Mm -hmm. Did you perform in um, Las Vegas? <clears throat> I, well, I was going to college out there, so my only claim to fame of performing in Las Vegas was a karaoke concert at the MGM Grand, mm -hmm. so technically I can get away with saying yes, I performed <laughs> in Las Vegas, sure. but was it on a main um, main room floor? Uh, no, not yet. It's okay, you got some practice. That's it. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> and where else have you traveled to and performed? Yeah, well, I'm going back and forth between Las Vegas a little bit. Um, but I did a short stint for a couple of years in Boston mm -hmm. and um, of course went to New York uh, a couple times. Uh, we did the Rocky Horror Show in Buffalo, New York. Beautiful Buffalo in January with, you know, it snowed every single day so I felt right at home. Yeah, right. <laughs> out there. But, um, you know, I just got back from Arizona so I was out there for a little while. I uh, did a couple stage shows and a couple lounges, but I just keep gravitating back to Chicago. Like mm -hmm. I said, it's, it's my own. Yeah, yeah. Have you sung with all your people? Do you like singing in groups at all, or do you usually like singing solo? Mostly solo. Mm -hmm. um, I've kind of grown up and steered to uh, solo performance, um, performances and artists. Um, so, not too many groups. Usually when people ask me, you know, what's your favorite ba band, I say Count Basie. Mm -hmm. So, um, my tastes are a little bit skewed, a little bit in that direction. So let's get together and you'll say that's good as we present to you Count Basie and the orchestra. <laughs> Thank you. 
performing these days? Um, well, since Chicago is such a great theater town, um, um, I'm performing with uh, a group out of Gorilla Tango Theater. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing a sketch comedy show um, in the fall, running every weekend in October. Uh, we're doing musical The Living Dead at the theater building. Um, and then I just wrapped up doing a film, so my throat's all caught up, a uh, horror film um, where I had my throat slashed repeatedly. <laughs> so the makeup on there didn't like me too well, but it, it's a great film. Mm -hmm. um, that should be coming out in a couple months. Hopefully. What's the name of that? Uh, it's going under the working title of A Night in the Forest. Okay. We'll see what, what comes of it. Uh, and then there's two other films, uh, independent films, that uh, we'll be starting shooting uh, in a couple weeks. Great. Yeah. Wow. So pretty so busy. Some work going on. Yeah. What got you started into acting? Something you always wanted to do? Um, well, I got into music first, so that performing was always there. But when I went to high school, um, I still credit um, Mr. Kankala, who was the drama and speech theater uh, theater teacher out there, said, uh, you know, your brother was here a couple years ago, and he did theater. You should give it a try. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, and went out for Father of the Bride. It was the very first show, and that's when the acting bug you know, caught me, and it all took off from there. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Do you have a preference, singing, acting, or you love both? Both equally, mm -hmm. even Stephen. <laughs> so, where do you see yourself um, in the future? What kind of things are you? Other work do you want to do? Well, um, not to sound desperate, but my thing's always been: um, I'll take what work comes down the pipe, mm -hmm. whether it's stage work, solo performing, singing, might be a musical, like I've done. Um, Films, TV, just whatever fits into my vein, uh, I'll perform in whatever house. Um, obviously, as long as it's respectable and, and good. Right. Um, but my goal is to get on the Las Vegas stage at some point, since most of my heroes come out of that town. Right. Um, but my true goal is, has been for a long time is to have a variety show produced and filmed exclusively in Chicago. We used to have that years ago, and I think the town is ready. I think the public is ready to get back into that. So um, I know we have the uh, production elements already here, so that is my dream goal, is to have that here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Do you find that a challenge to do something like that? Completely. Mm -hmm. um, the performers are here, uh, as I mean, in our country and locally, that are willing and able to do that, um, but it primarily falls on to getting the financial backing, uh, to getting a major studio, uh, television studio, to jump on board. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and with the economy, it's pretty challenging right now, but it's something I see that could roll around. And um, what would be your dream job? Just like what you were just talking about, is there anything else that would be a dream to perform? any particular place or any particular song in front of certain people? You know, there's so many great venues in the Chicago area, mm -hmm. like the Sabre Room, um, if they get the Pump Room up and running again. Um, the classic places. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, those kind of places. Unfortunately, we don't have like Mr. Kelly's or the Shaperie anymore, but um, or the London House. Um, there are still some remnants around town that um, I would love to, to bring that back to. Um, and on a grander scale, of course, uh, the big houses uh, in Las Vegas uh, is still a dream. Mm -hmm. But like it has been the last couple of years, um, I keep coming back home to Chicago. So mm -hmm. I would love to do those kind of songs here in my hometown. That's great. We're glad to have you here. Thank you. My <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> so if people want to get a hold of you, do you have a website? I do. Okay. It's um, surrealist.com slash keep. It's all my name. Okay. Um, all of my info is on the website, email, phone, all that. I'm very easy to find. Of course, on Facebook, mm -hmm. um, you just search Keith Cirillus. And we wish you all the best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you so for having you're, me. Sure. I think you're going to sing a little bit for us, too. I will. A little bit. Yeah. Good. Well, thank you for joining us today for another episode of Art on TV. And if you're an artist, uh, go to our website at art-ontv and upload your art. Thanks again. I'm Beth O'Neill. So I face the final curtain.
curtain My friends, I'll say it clear I'll state my case Of which I'm certain I've lived a life that's full I've traveled each, each and every highway and more Much more than this I did my way Regrets I've had a few But then again too few to mention I did what I had to do I stood through without exception I planned each starting course Each careful step Along the byways and more Much more than this I did it my way Yes, there were times I'm sure you knew When I did all more than I could do But through it all When there was doubt I ate it up And I spit it out I stood so I've been a pride I've had my fill My share Losing And now As tears subside I find it all So damn amusing Just to think I did all that And may I say Not in a shy way Such an easy game to play Now I need a place to hide away I believe in yesterday Suddenly I'm not half the man I used to be Now I need a place to run away I believe in yesterday Why she had to go I don't know She wouldn't say I said Something wrong now I long For yesterday Yesterday Love was such an easy game to play Now I need that place to hide away 